Hello, I am the Delta, and today I will be reviewing the Eagomos Collections USS Dauntless NX-01A. I will be doing the magazine first, and then the model. So. <clears throat> this is the magazine. As you can see, there is a picture of the Dauntless on the front with the deflector lit up, as that is part of the quantum slipstream, slip, slipstream process. Um, the contents so, registry NX01A. Class Dauntless, constructed Delta Quadrant, created by Species 116, destroyed 2374, length 204.82 meters, 7 decks, it has a crew complement of 1, as it was a trap ship, um, top speed warp, point, warp 9.999 plus. Propulsion, Impulse and Warp Engines, Quantum Slipstream Drive, Captain's N.A. Um, information on the Dauntless. Um, in the mid-20... Ether... In mid-2374, the crew of the USS Voyager decoded a secret message that, le that led them to the USS Dauntless NX-01A. The ship appeared to be the most advanced starship ever, ever developed by Starfleet, and, had been and to have been sent to the Delta Quadrant to provide the Voyager's crew with a speedy means of returning home. But as if they were to discover, the Dauntless was part of an elaborate trap set by an a alien, but alien known as Ar Arturus, I think. In order to exact revenge on Captain Janeway, in Janeway for her part in helping the Borg defeat Species 8472. The Borg's victory had contributed to Arturus's people being almost completely wiped out. He was consumed by his desire for vengeance and faked the message in the hope of luring Janeway's crew onto the Dauntless, which, instead of taking them to Earth, would deliver them to the Borg. At roughly half the size of Voyager, the Dauntless had a sleek and bullet-like bullet appearance. According to the fake message, it was an experimental vessel that used a quantum slipstream drive to travel far faster than any other Starfleet vessel. It had no shuttlecraft, holodecks, or even replicators, but it was large enough to accommodate the entire crew and could make the journey back to a in as little as three months. Even a detailed old examination didn't reveal the Dauntless's true nature. It had a Starfleet warp signature and a standard Starfleet in instrumentation. Even the design of the RCS thrusters and the escape port hatches appeared to have come straight up out of the U Utopia Planitia shipyards. The Dauntless's, Dauntless's engine room was also re resembled that of a Starfleet vessel, but of one crucial difference. The central matter antima outer chamber had been replaced with the quantum slipstream, slipstream device, with a small clear glow crackling with energy as its focal point. The quantum slipstream its dream drive was real and vastly, vastly superior to the new warp engines used in Uzon Starfleet vessels. 
It could propel the Dauntless 15 light years within a matter of seconds. A distance normally requiring at least two days of high warp travel. These incredible speeds were achieved by a routing the energy through the drive from the drive through the main deflector to create a quantum slipstream, essentially a subspace tunnel. Once in the tunnel, ships were able to travel up to 20 times faster than the maximum warp speed of a galaxy-class galaxy starship. Uh, went on, it goes on to talk about, about the advanced technology of the uh, <laughs> Dauntless, and as it shows here, the Dauntless's fate, which is actually quite upsetting because I actually like the Dauntless, it's one of my favourite ships. Um, the multiple views of the Dauntless, Go. Um, designing the Dauntless. Um, as you see here, it had its bridge was um, shaved off. Mainly due to the fact they wanted it to be more streamlined. It just goes on to on about designing the Dauntless and Seven of Nine. But other than that, let's move on to the model itself. First we go on to the stand. <coughs> the base is the same as the one from the Enterprise refit. Some form of hard material, I'm not sure if it's stone or metal, with a felt base and a sticker on the bottom saying USS Dauntless with the number 2020-A slash C. The <coughs> actual stand bit has been specifically moulded, made for the Dauntless. So it just slots in at the back of the dagger section. And <coughs> now onto the Dauntless itself. Now, the Dauntless is actually one of my favourite ships, alongside the Sovereign class and the Excelsior Refit class. <coughs> As you can see, it is. A bit more stream is far more streamlined than other Starfleet ships, and the bridge is actually embedded into the hull. Um, it has all the standard designs of Starfleet ships, and the nacelles are made of plastic, while the rest of this is diecast metal. Um, the ship is brilliantly detailed, and you can see here, uh, Dauntless, USS Dauntless, NX-01A. You can also see some of the decks here, and also the escape pods, the thrusters, and uh, the, the deflector is plastic. And then there's this uh, little blue dot here, I'm not sure what that is, um, I think it's an ejection system, I'm not sure. But, <clears throat> overall, I really like this ship. Um, I think they used the design in Star Trek Enterprise, when Archer went to the future. A Dauntless class starship was seen going past the Enterprise J. <coughs> Um, 
I actually really hope that they introduce this as a Starfleet ship in the uh, future. <coughs> as an, an actual Starfleet ship. But we have now reached the end of the video, so like, subscribe, comment your thoughts on this ship down in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!